Hey, my name is Daniel Araya. I'm a senior at UNCG majoring in biology, and I'm excited to have you follow me around in UNCG's Follow Me series. Right now, I normally start my mornings at the Kaplan Center with a workout before I get my day going. The Kaplan Center is a great example of facilities and resources that UNCG provides to its students to help aid our mental health and physical health. But right now, I have a meeting with my pre-med advisor, Professor Robin Maxwell, so follow me to the meeting. As a biology major on the pre-medical track, I'm the first to admit that this is a very intimidating major choice, but I'm so grateful to have the support of UNCG's pre-med advisors to help along the way. Here in front of Professor Maxwell's office, there is a very nice wall with a lot of pre-med resources. Here we can find scheduling opportunities, we can find internship opportunities, as well as MCAT resources, and this has been a very transformative spot for me at UNCG. There's so much to consider other than grades, and I'm so lucky to have had Professor Maxwell's guidance. Speaking of grades, let's head over to the Sullivan Building. Here I am in front of the Sullivan Building. I spend so much time here, I feel like I live here. Some of my closest friends are in lab with me and are also in classes with me. On a daily basis, we typically go from a study session to class and to lab all in the same building. I'm so grateful for our great community and we have amazing professors and peers that are great to work with and motivate you. Speaking of that, here's one of them now. Hey Maggie. Hey, what's up? What's up? Let's go to biology class. <laughs> Follow me. Here we are in my research lab in the Sullivan Building. I currently work under Dr. Ayalu Osena, which I connected with during my freshman year at UNCG, which led me to spend my additional three years doing research under him. Research is a very invaluable skill to have, and it's something that medical schools are really looking for in applicants. And I'm so thankful to have been able to start doing research at such a young age. In my research and in the work that we do here, we are battling food insecurity through climate change. We're doing this through plant biology. In my research, I am using tobacco plants. The reason why this is my model organism is simply because tobacco plants germinate extremely quickly and this accelerates our data collecting. The process and the procedure that we're doing in this lab essentially revolves around agrobacterium mediated transformation, where essentially we are introducing a gene that can survive at high temperatures into the genome of tobacco plants, and we are trying to see if we can increase the heat tolerance in those plants. The reason why this work is so important is because global temperatures are increasing and we want to try and aid plants as they are going through higher temperatures on a global scale. I guess since I love growing things and helping people, it shouldn't come as a surprise that my favorite weekend activity is at the Greensboro Triad Farmer's Market. What started off as a fun activity progressed into a volunteer gig. Follow me as I help out some of my friends here.
So you came along with me to the gym, to class, to my research lab, and to meet my research advisor and pre-med advisor, and now you're at the farmer's market for my volunteer gig. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how a biology major like me combines service and research experiences towards a career in medicine. The journey is still a little bit ahead of me, but I'm definitely enjoying the ride. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow the YouTube channel and Instagram so you don't miss the next installment of the Follow Me series. Bye.